linebacker Urban Meyer grew up in Ashtabula, even played on the high school football team. Sure did. Meyer still keeps in contact with friends there who say the hometown hero touched the lives of so many. Tonight News 5's Taylor DeHaze takes us on a trip down memory lane from Urban Meyer's old stomping grounds. Classmates who played ball with him a decade ago say he'll live on to be a hometown legend. Welcome to Urban Meyer's old stomping grounds, laced with a welcome sign. A few miles down the road. He went to kindergarten in this actual building. St. John School. So I think, you know, he, he gives people a sense of pride uh, that small town roots can lead to big time dreams. Walking down the halls, you'll find Meyer's legacy framed and bound. Sister Maureen Burke flips through pages in a 1982 yearbook. I don't think he could live with doing anything uh, but his best. Pointing out the roots of his athletic career for display a replica of his helmet in her office. Baseball was his more successful sport at St. John rather than football, but obviously uh, he's made football quite a career for himself. This is when he was coach at Florida and defeated Ohio State. Dave Rozo shows off a win he'll never forget, decorated with his old friend's signature, classmates for 12 years and friends on the field. He was a team captain, so he made sure that everybody was in line. Using that leadership to lead him to the big leagues. One national championship at Ohio State, two at Florida. Can't get much better than that. As Myers prepares to step off the field for good, his old friends are cheering him on from his old sidelines. Mm -hmm. We're all proud of Urban and what he's accomplished. Uh, in his career as a coach, as a leader, uh, as a father, as a mentor to other people. Uh, I'm proud to know him as a friend. He's already made Ashtabula proud. Stepping out of the limelight, folks here want Meyer to know he'll always have a place to call home. In Saybrook, Taylor DeHaze, News 5.